Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading for April. We are going to look at what your month looks like in general, what it is you think you want versus what you actually need, um, how other people are perceiving you on your search to find love, and then um, what's the best course of action to get what you want, and then how is this Mercury retrograde that goes until April 15th going to affect you since we know that's when exes come back. So let's go ahead and get started. Gemini, in general, what does your month look like? It's not a good time to be making decisions, um, but it is a good time to be communicating with other people. Uh, just not putting loads and loads of work into that, though, like into your dating life. Why is that? And so they're saying, well, anything is possible if you're just able to go with the flow. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you could start to see that stuff coming through for you. And so it's like spirits working on your behalf, and it's not too much effort, except for maybe responding to text messages, that kind of a thing. So what is it that you want this month? Um, okay, so you want to feel excited, fiery, like kind of in control of your own destiny, which is why it might be a little bit hard. Because one aspect of you is not feeling particularly confident or sexy or attractive. And so in your love life, you might be feeling like things are a little bit hopeless. So what is it that you need instead? And they're saying you need to be very, very patient because spirit is working on your behalf. You're going to get what you want. So that's good news. However, think really hard about what you want in the longer term of th things because with this specific energy of getting the things that you want, it's more of like, okay, I have what I want now, but for some reason I'm not entirely satisfied. So they're saying, um, you know, Sit back, go with the flow, and see what spirit has to offer. And then if it's not what you want entirely, amend what it is you're trying to manifest. Because you could fall in love this month in April. You very much could. Um, you could meet the person that's right for you. The only thing is that, like, if you don't believe that you deserve it, then it's going to be less than what you'd hoped for. If you're not able to walk away from your past, if you're still holding on to exes and things like that, then that's not going to come through for you and you're not going to end up successful in love. So you get to decide how you want this month to go for you. Are you going to attract an awesome love into your life or are you going to go backwards and do something you've already done that didn't work? It's up to you. So how are potential suitors going to be um, perceiving you this month? And... For a lot of you, they're going to perceive you as wounded, hurt, but wanting to move forward. So how is it that you can shift that energy of the way that people perceive you? And they're saying by being very focused on the day-to-day -day things, on things that are tangible, on things that are real as, as opposed to conceptual things, okay? Now they're saying um, stay put. The person that is coming through for you is very local. It's not somebody you meet on vacation or anything like that, like Tauruses have this month. Um, but you might feel like that's kind of hopeless, like, oh, I live in a small town, I've already met everybody. But that's actually not the case for you. So what's the best course of action for you to get what you desire? And they're saying, well, if you're in that hopeless energy, nothing. Because you're going to manifest, you know, nothing. <laughs> and they're saying, you know, if you're not putting the work in, well, then nothing's going to happen. You know, even though, um, and putting the work in, though, doesn't mean like a traumatic, because we already said that sounds uh, counterintuitive, because they already said it's going to be easy. They'll just show up. But like, if you're not responding, or like, if you're not being open to new things coming through, the new things aren't going to come through. They say you won't be disappointed, though, if you fully embrace that energy. Some of you have this fear that you're going to end up embroiled in toxic situations and situations that are unfair, abusive relationships, things like that. But what you're um, like, you're going to end up in this position where like things are not balanced, they're not stable or a relationship that's too hard to juggle with your day to day life. But if that's your fear, then that's what you're attracting. And so they're saying these are defense mechanisms that you're built like walls that you're building up in front of yourself and that are inhibiting you from receiving the love that spirit's trying to hand out. So. For the rest of you that aren't doing that, they're like, okay, taking a break, chilling out, making sure you're getting lots of sleep is a good thing for you, and then just being patient as spirit works it out for you. So how is this Mercury retrograde going to be affecting you? 
and they're saying, um, well, because we're having to revisit things, it doesn't necessarily make you feel very confident. Like it reminds you of your past experiences because it's, and the reason why those things are coming back up for you is because there are some things that we haven't moved on from, like I mentioned before, some doors that haven't entirely closed. Maybe you still have some hope that you'll get back together with an ex and, you know, that's not a healthy desire. Instead, it's better to um, try to manifest something new because you weren't fulfilled by that. You weren't able to, you weren't either feeling entirely loved or you weren't loving yourself in that relationship and it's just not worth the fight or the, or the struggle anymore. So they're saying, you know, sleep a lot up until the 15th of April if you can, get adequate sleep, just because as you're sleeping, you're healing. Your angels are working on you as you're as you're sleeping. And they're like, you might not notice big changes, but they're happening on a deeper subconscious level. You might not wake up one morning and feel all of a sudden like ready to tackle the world and to find this new love and, you know, full of passion and enthusiasm and confidence. And, you know, you might not wake up one morning and just be like, you know what, my happily ever after does exist. But if you are consciously working on that work to release the past, if you're getting over change, which a lot of you aren't, um, then they're saying, you know, then you'll be able to feel confident about, confident about things. But the majority of you are like in this energy of life isn't fair. I haven't met my forever person yet. But it's only because you have not walked away entirely from an ex. Okay. You're still trying to manipulate or control that situation, trying to make the other person be a different person or to treat you different or, um, you know, to have a different outlook or a different circumstance. And that's not something that you can do. That is a hopeless endeavor that you need to let go of. Okay. You need to either love them as they are and be okay with the situation as it is or move on. And so the majority of you need to move on to welcome this in. Um, because when you're focusing on on those past hurts and pains and things like that, you're not able to see the wonderful things that are coming through for you. You're not connected to spirit, therefore spirit's not working on your behalf. So that's the message for you. Now, um, what is something that you can do or something that you can keep in mind to try to come more into the energy where, you know, they'll basically deliver you somebody on a platter? And they're saying it's all about your state of mind, taking time and space to empty and clear your mind, to rest, to get a lot of sleep, to savor those moments of rest, to calmly observe your past feelings, you know, especially the ones that are bad, and then not allow them to persist. To say, you know what, that happened. Okay, I learned something from it and I'm moving on. I'm stepping into new energy with a new person that I will love that will be all of these things that I want. So it's basically up to you this month. Now, um, I feel like there's another message here that you need to know, and maybe I just didn't map out the right question. So what, is, what else is it that Spirit wants to tell you? And they're saying, yeah, a lot of you are just, you just haven't moved on. You haven't given up yet on that past person. And you know what? That's okay if it's going to take you some time, but then just know it's going to take you some time to come into the right energy. They're saying if... They're saying it's not like you're being bitchy. It's not like you're coming across as controlling to this other person. Um, but you might be a little bit persistent about like, these are the things that I need in my day to day life. Like I need a partner who is stable, who, um, you know, like wants to live with me, cohabitate, you know, have children, get married, whatever, plan for the future. And this person from the past is just not that person for you. So they're saying, think about what you want. Be patient as you wait for it to come through. There's not that much you work you have to do. Spirit's working on your behalf. If that's what you truly want. But you have to show them that this is what you truly want by not lusting after or communicating with that person from the past so best of luck to you I think I will be doing I don't some of you probably saw the um, live stream I did in February on Valentine's Day I think I'm gonna do another one soon so if you um, haven't been to my website to sign up to try to win the free tarot reading that I do actually I'm gonna pull for that tomorrow so um, then, then you probably won't be alerted to that when I do that because I'll send a quick email that says, hey, this is when I'm doing it. Um, or if you follow on Facebook, then you'll also know. So just a heads up, I feel like that's going to be probably Monday, April 9th. Um, if you are a subscriber and you click the little bell next to the subscription thing, it might also alert you when that goes live. So I don't have the, all of the details down for, for certain yet, but I think I'm going to be doing one of those soon so you can write down your questions i'm gonna i'll be answering a question from everybody so that's that love and light and best april ever
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!